Hi folks, this is Ada. Today I am thrilled to talk to you about the fascinating world of vector embeddings and how they are being produced. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Vector models have become ubiquitous in our lives, powering various applications such as facial recognition, reverse image search, recommendation engines, and large language models such as ChatGPT. These models have revolutionized the way we interact with technology, enabling us to extract meaningful representations from complex data. Let's delve into some of the techniques used to generate vector embeddings for different types of data. If you're working with tabular data, one powerful approach is to employ autoencoders. By constructing symmetric neural networks, we can feed the tabular data into the model, aiming to reconstruct the original input at the output layer. During this process, the number of layers gradually decreases from the input layer to the middle layer, and then increases back to the output layer. By examining how well the input can be restored with minimal error, we can utilize the output of the middle layer as vector embeddings. This technique allows us to capture the essential features of the data in a condensed form. Moving on to image data, convolutional autoencoders come into play. Similar to regular autoencoders, these models leverage convolutional neural networks, or shortly CNN, to encode and decode the images. The structure of the network involves decreasing the number of CNN layers from the input side to the middle layer, and then increasing them from the middle layer to the output side. By extracting the output from the middle layer, we obtain vector embeddings that represent the essential characteristics of the images. These embeddings can be utilized in a variety of tasks, from content-based image retrieval to image similarity analysis. While we're on the topic of models, it's worth mentioning that language models, like ChatGPT, often employ LSTM models. Long short-term memory is a type of recurrent neural network, or shortly RNN architecture, that excels at capturing sequential dependencies in data. LSTM models have proven to be highly effective in generating vector representations for text, and have fueled advancements in natural language understanding and generation. Expanding our horizons, let's explore another avenue for generating vector embeddings, relational data. When working with interconnected data, graph-based approaches offer great potential. One prominent tool in this domain is Neo4j's Graph Data Science Library, which enables us to consider both the nodes, relationships, and their properties within a graph. Algorithms such as neural networks-based GraphSage, OR, and FastRP facilitate the generation of vector embeddings. These embeddings capture the rich information present in the relational data, paving the way for powerful graph-based analysis and predictions. In the realm of facial recognition, a notable technique involves constructing a regular classification model using CNN specifically trained on a fixed set of identities. However, what makes these models particularly powerful is their ability to extract meaningful vector embeddings from the intermediate layers. For instance, renowned models like VGGFace leverage the outputs of the layer preceding the final classification layer, comprising thousands of nodes that capture essential facial features. Remarkably, these embeddings can even be utilized for individuals not present in the training set, showcasing the transferability and generalization capabilities of the model. By harnessing the compact and informative representations obtained from the intermediate layers, facial recognition systems can achieve impressive accuracy and recognition performance. It's important to note that the highlights I have shared today are just a glimpse into the vast landscape of vector embedding production. There are numerous other methods and techniques that are tailored to specific data types and application domains. The world of vector embeddings is ever-evolving, driven by constant innovation and research. In conclusion, vector embeddings have become indispensable tools for extracting meaningful representations from complex data. Whether we're working with tabular data, images, text, or interconnected graphs, a multitude of techniques exist to generate powerful embeddings. By leveraging autoencoders, convolutional networks, LSTM models, and graph-based algorithms, we can capture the essence of our data and unlock its hidden insights. Thank you all for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and make comments to support this work. See you in next time. Cheers!